In any event, I want to talk about how the cold dots work because it's very important to understand. And if you don't understand how creep, creeping cold or greater creeping cold work how, and how they're different from other dots, then you're going to be nerfing your, yourself. So traditional dots like Nyax Biting Cold, and, and by the way, the Karsri Storm, the new, we have three new Warlock packs. There's a Cold Pact, Electric Pact, and a Negative Energy Pact. Just came out yesterday. The Cold Pact has three cold dots. Nyax Biting Cold, Creeping Cold, and Greater Creeping Cold. It's the first time that you're, you're ever going to be able to play a tune that has all three of those cold dots in one place. The Nyax Biting Cold is an Arcane Dot. The Greater Creeping Cold and Greater Creep, Creeping Cold is the Druid Dot. Also available from the Water Domain for Clerics as of a couple of years ago or whatever. So traditional arcane and divine dots like Nyx Biting Cold, Eldar's Electric Surge, even uh, Arcane Pulse, uh, Divine Punishment, etc., they stack. Right? You want to recast them before they expire because when you recast, say, Nyx Biting Cold on the mob before it expires then it adds a second stack to it right now it's doing even more damage and then you want to recast it before it expires again then you can get a third stack on there it's doing even more damage so you're wanting to recast it before it expires right everybody knows that but here's the thing this is what's really really important creeping cold and greater creeping cold do not behave that way not only do they not behave behave that way in the in the sense that they don't stack upon each other you specifically want to not recast them before they expire. You want to let them expire. It's very important to let them expire. Because if you recast them before they expire, then you overwrite it and it starts its damage back at the beginning. And they're backloaded spells. The way that Creeping Cold and Greater Creeping Cold work is that the first two ticks are the low damage... No, they're not awful. And then the tick 3 and 4 is like a moderate amount of damage, and then tick 5 and 6 is the big damage. So the big damage just comes at the end. So if you're overwriting your Creeping Cold and Greater Creeping Cold before it expires, you're overwriting the biggest damage of it. You're nerfing your own damage. You're overwriting the biggest damage. So do not overwrite your own Creeping Colds and Greater Creeping Colds. Let them run out, then recast them. The Nyax you want to recast before it expires. The Creeping Colds and Greater Creeping Colds, you want to let them expire, then recast. You can cast both Creeping Cold and Greater Creeping Cold on the same mob. Those are different spells. They will both apply. But Creeping Cold does not stack upon itself like Nyax Biting Cold does, and Greater Creeping Cold does not stack upon itself like Nyax Biting Cold does. And if you overwrite it before it expires, then you're overwriting your biggest damage. You're just starting that damage back down at the lowest damage dice. And that's a tip from your Uncle Voodoo. And we are going to close today's show on that tip.